VR for work, is it possible? Is it the future for being more productive working from home? Well, I don't know just yet, and I'm having fun being a part of the journey. This is the VR for work series part three, and in this video, I will show you a Quest 2 VR application called Horizon Workrooms, currently in beta by Meta. A software that will take your workspace, your desktop into a different world. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I'm Ryan and this is the Elevate Project. Helping professionals like you working from home with home office tech and to be more confident and engaging delivering online presentations. Now, if you missed part one and two, you can check out the link in the description below. For this series, I'm using the Oculus Quest 2 or MetaQuest 2 and see if VR for work is or will be the future to elevate your productivity working from home. The application that we're going to be using today is the Horizon Workrooms Beta, which is a free application for the Quest 2. Just like other apps that can remotely access your computer, you need to download a companion app from their website. To use this app versus other apps, you do need to create an account. Once you've created your account and installed the companion app, we are good to jump into the metaverse. We are going to go to Horizon Workrooms. So this is where you first walk into. As you can see, it's got a vast amount of area, which we obviously don't need. You can work from here. Here I can go onto my computer. Here are the settings. Oh, this is my avatars. And what this enables you to do is when you are in a, a virtual meeting, they'll see this avatar. So they'll see a face, they'll see a body. And when I talk, as you can see here, the mouth of the avatar talks as well. And here mute, I can mute the microphone, obviously, which is kind of cool. I can reset the desk. I can track the keyboard. What's nice right now in this beta version, it will track a keyboard of an Apple Magic keyboard, a Apple MacBook Pro, or the Logic K830. First couple things here that you need to know if you are working in this environment right off the bat is the screen size versus other apps, just to name a few. One in particular is Immersed. You'll be able to get the full kind of screen and look of your original monitor that's connected to your desktop. Unfortunately, with this Oculus Remote app, this is a beta version, so it may be limited to the rendering of resolution. So as you can see, I'm just kind of moving my mouse within my computer and it moves right there. So I'm just gonna close this off for now, go to home, and you're gonna notice here that I actually created a workroom. To enable and to ensure that you can work with other people, you need to create a room. So here I create a Titans test workroom. Perfect. As soon as it connects to the workroom, it will take you to this meeting room or conference room. Here you can enable notes, files, and chats, open on computer, guest access, so you can turn that on for other people to join. This is me, I can customize the room. This is more, I find, based on my usage, it is more of a collaboration or meeting tool where you're gonna be working with someone, not just yourself, and you wanna have more interaction. So let's go into some more details. You can, looks like you can resize the table, you can change the theme. They have lakes, cabin, right now I'm the city. It just really just changes the view. The table's a little bit different here is what you can see here in front of us, that is for a couple different things. One, a whiteboard. It also acts as the front of the room, almost like a projector, but we'll look at that in a moment. But let's take a look at all these different cool environments. But let's go to the last one here, City Bright, and we'll hold on City Bright. So I'm okay with this. I think we'll be good with this for our demonstration. Let's take a look at what we can see. We can see here is the desk. And there's a few options here on the right hand side. What's nice is desk pass through. So when I go desk pass through, I can see my keyboard, which is kind of nice. So if I'm typing away, even though it's not tracking my keyboard, I can at least see it in black and white. I can turn that off. And this is a, a whiteboard that you can take notes right on your desk. So what you do is you actually turn your controller upside down. And now I can start drawing. It makes you make a circle. And now that I turn around, it looks like a pen. So. Okay. 
Hello. That is that is cool. This is the first time I've taken this. Hello. Then if I want to erase, I can just use the eraser tool here. And then if I want to write something, I can write something again. So it's very unique in that way that you're using the controller upside down, which is kind of nice. So if you are taking notes, let's say someone else is presenting. And as you notice up on the whiteboard, it shows up right up in the front of the room. So this is my computer. You can have this in two different sizes. You get a larger size, which is still a good size, depending on what you're doing. And I can control my computer using my mouse, using my keyboard that's connected, or you can connect your, your mouse and keyboard Bluetooth wirelessly to the Oculus headset, depending on where you are. You can take a screenshot of what you're doing, and then you can cast. And this will enable you to cast it right up on the front screen. So if you wanted to present to your team, let's say you have a PowerPoint presentation or something like that, you can send it up to the front. Let's say you're working and you see this, but one thing that I don't like or I haven't seen to know how is enabling this as a second monitor. So it doesn't really give you an option of a virtual monitor like some other apps. If you wanna change the position of where you are, you don't actually need the controllers, you can use hand tracking. So to change seats, I would just go here to change seat and I can choose where I wanna go. So if I wanna sit in the front of the class or I wanna go on the other side, it will give me a different view, a different perspective of where I am, which is kinda of cool. And one thing to notice as well, you're probably gonna see here on the left hand side a screen, you can actually invite people from the real world that may not have like this avatar look. Let's say they're on Zoom, et cetera, and they can join with their video. The only difference is they wouldn't see us personally, they would see our avatar. So the avatar that I showed you in the beginning, they would see us, so as you can see on my screen here. And we could see them with their live video on that screen over there, which is kind of nice. So essentially, if whatever is on your computer screen, you can launch up onto the board, which is nice. Everyone would have their own individual spot. And that's really everything right now that Horizon Workrooms offers. It, it does offer you an environment to have meetings. It does give you an option to work in VR, having your computer right on screen in front of you. The hand tracking, from what you can see, can be a little bit annoying because it will start catching with my hands when I don't necessarily want it to. But other than that, I think for what you need it to do, it works. And if we exit the room, it does bring us back to a single desk where you can stay focused on your work to get things done. So that is a small preview working within Horizon Workrooms. It is in beta, so I did experience a little lag when controlling my computer and how it shows up in the space, unlike other apps like Immersed, where it seemed lag-free. I think Horizon Workrooms is a great option, more so for meetings and collaboration. Personally, this wouldn't be my top choice for daily work if I was going to work in VR. That being said, it is free right now and a good app to try out. Also, it is in beta, so I will review the app again once it is out of beta and see if there are vast improvements and if my perspective changes. If you found value in this video, hit that like button. It really helps the channel. And if you have tried Horizon Workrooms, comment below. I would love to hear your experience thus far. If you like content like this one, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you are notified when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. Be safe, stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next one.